Ryan. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Yet again, I'll be with you uh, for the entire week. We'll be back next week. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got going on today. All right, you have the E-mini up right now about 0.39%. Same with the SPY, up about roughly 04 The Russell heading down off about 0.5%. You have the NQs coming down a little bit as well. Uh, you have some issues with Google today. We can talk about um, Apple's doing Honestly, not as good as I thought it would have uh, with some news that they're going to expand uh, or they're going to license out their pay chip. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. We're looking at the E-mini, looking at the SPY. You know, all your big volume for the day is kind of down. You know, it's more pronounced in the futures, right? Your massive leg down are the ones with volume. Of course, you had CPI come out today. And uh, we spoke about the CPI from June yesterday. Uh, July was kind of in line with what a lot of people were saying, uh, roughly around 2.9% year over year. That is certainly closer to the 2% uh, that the Fed wants to target. I think a lot of this is going to pivot around jobs numbers going forward, right? And that's going to determine what basis point cut we're going to get come September. Um, but as it stands now, we are moving a little bit higher up to the high of the day in the E-mini. That Russell is off. Uh, the NQs, again, you know, you have some pretty high-volume lows on the day. Um, not moving as close as the E-mini is to the high. Composite, same deal. Those Dow futures are up. Again, this has been kind of just a little roller coaster of a day. Now, the Dow did a little bit better earlier in the day, faltered a bit. It seems stronger. These are the Dow futures here. Uh, that gold contract, we are below 2,500 as it is, probably on the news of declining inflation. Let's see, you have silver also off about 0.6%, copper off about 0.15%, crude oil, the stockpiles are huge right now. Uh, Tesla off about 3.6%, currently Steel Dynamics also off a little bit, and that dollar flat but in its lower trading range. Okay, you bounce off that 102 area for the day, come right back up. Uh, I still think this is probably something that wants a little bit uh, lower price. Google off about 3.27%. On some discussion, you know, they obviously got labeled as a monopoly, and there's some discussion that they might get broken up. Uh, we'll see how that works, and that will be a pretty epic legal battle. <clears throat> Lucid up about 2.61. Just see where Palantir is sitting as it stands now. Up about 1.79, still floating around that 30 area. I'm assuming it's probably going to stick there for quite a while, uh, but that seems like it's, it's kind of new floor, right? If we take that out. A little bit longer. You know, yeah. It, it, the stock is weird in the sense that it doesn't have a lot of play on it, right? I mean, this is pretty low volume. Uh, you obviously have a major drop down. This comes right back here again on the news that they're going to be working with Microsoft uh, on some government contracts. And I think people like that. The last big volume was this gap up on February 6th. Let's talk a little bit about CPI for July. Let's take it over there. Oh, let's see here. We have, uh, oh, we have a caller. Oh, check that out. Costa in Boston. Costa, how are you doing? Good, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm happy. I got new one at 33. Hit 59 and a quarter. Next year, can I get 60 to 80 out of it if the earnings come in as projected. You th you're looking for a 60 to 80 price point or 60 80? 60 to 80. 60 to 80. That's correct. So I, I remember you called me a little while ago with Newmont as well, right? And oh my one of my God. things with this is it was such low volume all the time, which I get nervous at personally, right? You know, Tom is really yeah. the baller. For the gold. Newmont, at least fundamentally, you know, their trial new mines are pretty like solid and stuff like that. As far as like a price point going up, you know, I can't give, you know, something exact like a 6280 or anything like that. But if you're looking at the traditional movement with this, right, even though you have low volume, you, one of the high volumes you have is a nice gap up. It looks like it tested that gap up and uh, rejected it with somewhat higher volume, right, uh, relative to what it usually trades at. 
and we're still moving up. Right. Recently, you know, you've been moving up to with volume. As far as an exact price point, I can't necessarily say, right? But this does look, at least how it relatively trades, decently strong. Costa, one of the things I can definitely suggest if you haven't done it yet, Tom goes over Newmont uh, in his gold report. Um, so I'd be really, I'd recommend checking that out as well. And then Tom, of course, will be back Monday. And I learn all the time from Tom in his analysis on these miners. So I remember last time we were talking, I was like a little bit suspect on it because of low volume. I usually try not to touch low volume stocks because I think it can get turned around so quickly. Um, right. But the stock looks decent. And I think rejecting that lower price on the gap up is a solid uh, kind of behavior for this stock. So that's kind of my input on that. Okay. But congratulations getting it at that price point. I mean, that's pretty solid, right? Yeah, I got a good price. Fantastic. Well, uh, Costa, is there anything else uh, we can talk about today? No, I'm all set, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Costa. Take care now. Bye-bye. Yeah, folks, I want to say as well, um, if we go to TFNN.com here, I was just talking about Gold Report. Um, this Yahoo search is wild. Uh, if you go to TFNN.com, uh, I was talking about Gold Report with Costa. Strongly recommend it, checking that out. This is a July 19th update on it. Up nearly 90.57% in that portfolio. Uh, pretty solid. We've had some moves since then. Uh, but it's 30-day money-back guarantee. If it's your first time subscribing, for whatever reason it doesn't work for you, that's totally fine. But everything that I know about how metals work absolutely comes from talking with Tom. You know, Luckily, I get to work in the office with him and uh, reading this uh, when it gets published every Monday. And I want to say as well on that point, uh, if we wait for the home to load up, we have Market Insights. We're actually running a deal on Market Insights right now, which is pretty awesome. You just type in when you go ahead and hit subscribe, right? When you're checking out, you put in MI75 off and uh, you're good to go. That's going to save you 75% off your first month. And Tom has been crushing it compared to the market um, in Market Insights. Very awesome deal. Let's go back uh, to what we were saying, talking a little bit about CPI. So you see here on the year over year, we're up 2.9 currently. Um, for the month, you had an increase in all items, up about 0.2 month over month. Well, let's talk about it a little bit when we get back. Folks, stay right there. We'll be right back, talk a little bit about CPI.